Welcome to basic of objective C. This is Raja. In this course, I'll be teaching you the basic structure of objective C language, uh, how to create variables and class files, methods, arguments, and etc. Let's get started. This course is designed to teach the basic core functionalities of objective C for those who have some programming experience before. This is an introduction course to Objective-C, but it's not an introduction course to programming. If you do not know the programming terms, such as variables, classes, methods, or functions, return, and arguments, I highly recommend you to take basic of programming course in here before taking this course. For those who can understand the above terms, you are good to go. If you have any experience with C Sharp or Java or C++, you can find lots of similarities with Objective-C. However, the syntax, the Xcode IDE, the way of doing things in Objective-C, it's completely different than those languages. Java, C++, and C Sharp are built ground up and highly influenced by C. On the other hand, Objective-C, it is a C language and later on just added object-oriented concept to it, such as objects, classes, protocols, properties, and much more. This is a small introduction about the history of Objective-C. Then, I'll be using Xcode IDE to write Objective-C language. Xcode is used to create iOS and Mac application. You can download it from Mac App Store for free. So I'm going to show you next how to go and download Xcode. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to launch App Store. Okay, so in here, in the middle of that page on the right hand side, you have an app development icon. Just click on that. You can see the first icon on the top left is Xcode. So in this case, I downloaded and installed it to my computer. But if you, if you, if you see download button there, you just go ahead and click on that button. So it's free. It's a quite a big file. It's about, it, it, it might take a couple of minutes to download and install it completely into your system because Xcode is not only a cop, uh, code editor, it has much more than that. Like it has a simulator, an instrument that is to track the, your, the performance of the app and much more. So it's everything together to bundle together for for the development uh, in a Mac and iOS platform. Once you download and install this in your computer, you don't need to worry about anything apart from just updating that in future. Okay, so now we successfully installed Xcode. 